I like rebounders or mini trampolines as they're also known as. Many people find using a rebounder helps them to feel good, but do rebounders help to build bone density? Stay tuned to find out. I'm Glory B and this is Glory B TV. I've posted several videos in the past about how I reversed osteoporosis naturally without drugs. Through a combination of diet, supplements, and exercise, I reversed it. You can watch the other videos I have on this topic, including my interviews with Dr. Denise Shostek, where we discuss how and why the bone drugs the medications are really bad for you. Now in this video, we're talking about rebounders. These are small trampolines, which we know are good to use for your lymph system and lymphatic drainage. But will jumping on a rebounder help to build your bone density? The short answer is no. Using a rebounder will not help to build bone density because there isn't enough of an impact to create vibrations that the bones need in order to do what bones are supposed to do, which is to get rid of those old bone cells and build new healthy bone cells. This is the work of osteoclast and osteoblast. And rebounding doesn't provide that level of impact. Rather, walking, stomping, which I demonstrated in this video, and jumping, which I demonstrated in this video, will help to build bone density as well as other types of weight bearing and weight training exercises, which Dr. Shostek and I discussed in this video. So where did the idea originate that using a rebounder helps to build bone density? Now, some people claim that it started with NASA using rebounders with astronauts to help the astronauts build bone, since being weightless in space was creating bone loss for them. But there is nothing, no study and no NASA produced article showing or proving that NASA did this. Meanwhile, you can find plenty of articles on other people's websites which claim astronauts used rebounders to build bone. One of the people who has been all over this is physical therapist Margaret Martin. Now she's done a great job researching NASA's studies and rebounders. She's addressed this in videos, in replies to her viewer comments on her videos and on her blog. I'm going to read you an excerpt from her blog post about this topic. I carefully read the 1980 article by the NASA researchers and I searched up and down for how trampoline jumping enhanced or preserved bone density in the young men in the study. I also searched NASA's website. Ultimately, I was unable to find any reference to this outcome, so I'm not sure why there are articles by trampoline manufacturers that jump to the conclusion and proclaim that rebounders benefit bone health. The rebounder trampoline is less beneficial than earthbound stomping, jumping, squats, and other strength training exercises. Now, NASA isn't saying that the astronauts don't use rebounders at all, they're just not saying that astronauts use rebounders to build bone. While deployed in space, astronauts use something called Advanced Resistive Exercise Devices, or ARED for short, for their exercise. This is a resistant type of exercise since regular weights for weight training in space wouldn't work because those dumbbells, those weights would be weightless. The astronauts also supplement with vitamin D and eat sufficient calories. Now studies on these astronauts more recently who use these ARED exercise devices, when the astronauts return to Earth, they found that with this combination, their bones are working correctly, doing the remodeling and renewing with the osteoclast and osteoblast, and their bones are doing well now that they're using the ARED every day while in space. If the astronauts use a rebounder before and after space missions, it's for a purpose other than building bone. For example, after getting back to Earth, the astronauts might use a rebounder to combat the negative effects of low to zero gravity and to improve their balance and coordination. In contrast to what some articles tell you, astronauts 
don't jump on a trampoline and I'm quoting here from one of those articles to build bone density with the help of the increased g-forces. Nothing in NASA's database says this. Only articles from other sources say this. Now I found these types of articles linking to each other. Although one surmised to link to a study by NASA, and indeed the link provided was to a nasa.gov website, but the text there was one summary paragraph and it said nothing about astronauts using a rebounder or trampoline to build bone mass. However, Margaret Martin found an abstract of the actual study details online and she went through it thoroughly and found no references to astronauts using a rebounder to build bone. Besides addressing rebounders and bones on her blog, Margaret has addressed this issue in reply to comments on her own videos. In one of her videos, she actually said out loud, jumping on a rebounder doesn't build bone. To that statement, several viewers wrote comments saying, NASA has astronauts using rebounders to build bone, but then those viewers didn't provide any evidence to back up their statements. In response, Margaret answered them in the comments and she provided the following text. The only study that references NASA and rebounders that I can locate is the one published in 1980 in which one of the authors worked for NASA at the Moffett Field in California. That study is here and I'll provide a link for you in the description box below this video. Margaret continues, there is no evidence that NASA ever stated rebound exercise is the most efficient effective form of exercise yet devised by man. Finally, NASA does not use rebounders. They use a resistive device for their astronauts. And I'll provide that link in the description box too. This is the device astronauts actually use to build bone density. To another commenter, Margaret replied, actually, they don't use rebounders to build bone and there is no scientific evidence supporting that claim. NASA uses an advanced exercise workout gym in space that focuses on strength training and weight bearing. A viewer wrote a comment to Margaret saying, read the NASA papers on rebounding and osteoporosis, to which Margaret replied with data and links from actual NASA studies proving that NASA doesn't have astronauts using rebounders to build bone. Margaret was very nice to this viewer, a viewer who didn't do the research and didn't provide any links to support her statement. There are no NASA papers on rebounding and osteoporosis, nor on rebounding for building bone density. I'll link to the video where Margaret talked about rebounders and this video has those comments from viewers and Margaret's replies. So that's it. Using a rebounder doesn't build bone density. It can be fun to use a rebounder and it will give you other health benefits, but it won't build bone. If you do use a rebounder, make sure it has a handle that you can grip while using it. Check out my other videos where I share exercises that do work to build bone density and to build strong bones. You can tap one of the images on the right side of the screen I'll also have videos linked below. Tap more to open the description box and I'll see you in the next video.